We have a Tibetan association here in Berkeley, mm -hmm. which we have like about 1,200 Tibetans. It's a large community. It's a pretty large community. Yeah, yeah we are like very yeah. cohesive and close knit community as well. Pardon? We are very close knit and cohesive community as well. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is we try to get together as often as possible, so that like we can you know preserve our culture to the best of our ability.
these ladies were able to send the message inside Tibet to the Tibetans suffering under Chinese occupation that with the support of the international community, Tibetans can demonstrate on Chinese soil and not suffer as always imprisonment, torture, and death. I take this opportunity to express my appreciation for your commitment to our cause and my gratitude to the hundreds of women from many countries who have supported you. And you know the, how the Tibetan women are suffering, how the Tibetan people are suffering in Tibet. And we, this is the first chance, the first golden opportunity for the Tibetan people to go to the soul of China, talk about the Tibetan issues there. So I'm very proud that these brave Tibet, Tibetan and the non-Tibetan friends. And thank you so much for your help. Ta, 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 ta,
the four women survived out of those 300. Her determination was that she must not die, she can't afford to die, she must tell the stories, uh, she must see the Dalai Lama again. And she wanted to tell the world that this was happening, this incredible pain and the sufferings were taking place. And uh, all they have done, she felt, was that uh, she has uh, brought uh, foods you know, to uh, those uh, people who are, are her relatives, you know, and uh, that she didn't uh, commit any crime. Uh, her, she didn't even hurt a single Chinese, and uh, they, they were so cruel, you know, and she uh, prayed to the Green Tara Buddha, you know, like day and night, day and night, and uh, asked her to please keep me alive, so at least not only for me, but for these four, all 300 people, I have a responsibility to let the world know what happened to us. But I needed to, to let other people know what happened to me, uh, with, with other inmates with me. So I put this, uh, you know, she put this uh, all uh, into the writing so that it will remain and that more people will understand and know what happened so that in future we can prevent when uh, uh, in, uh, all over the world there are a lot of sufferings taking place and we could be much more prepared because uh, at the time when things were really going down in Tibet, uh, Tibetans tried to approach many countries and they ignored totally. <laughs> It's okay to be the uh, Olympics. It's okay. Let them play. But why are they killing Tibetans? That's why all our brother and sister is here, all the supporters here say stop the killing in Tibet. Tibet's in China! Tibet belongs to! Tibet belongs to! One world, one dream! One world, one dream! As the president of Tibetan Association, I can tell you that the entire Tibetan community feels honored by your support and your choice to stand with us in solidarity for human rights, freedom, and justice for Tibet. Honorable Supervisor Chris Daly, who fought for us at the City Hall in the last week. The Chinese government's record on human rights that is unconscionable. What's the situation? They are right now the most desperate right now in Tibet. Uh, the, monor the monasteries and nunneries has been shut down because of the China won't let them come come out all the months and months. There's staff, there's many people having difficulties to survive right now. The Olympic torch should embody the ideals of peace and harmony for all. If Tibetan Freedom Torch Relay gives voice to the true ideals of Tibetans and the dreams of all people of conscience, dreams of freedom, justice, and human rights for all. Today we are releasing 50 uh, dolls to rep represent that the Tibetans are the Chinese communists for 50 years. Please release Tibetans! Release all country! We don't know. They just might. They just they might cancel this whole route. If they do, it's a victory for us. We have accomplished our mission. So uh, that is the plan. No freedom, no Olympics. No freedom, no Olympics. Stop lying.
lying to the world. Stop lying to the world. Stop the killing in the bad. Stop the killing in the bad. China. 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 I am very happy to be here to join with you in solidarity. I want to thank you today for speaking out on behalf of the 6 million Tibetan people who will continue to suffer in Tibet. I want you to know that don't give up the fight. Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Oh, Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you. 